Now I'm going to explain the using and the on clauses. Note that the using and the on clauses apply only to the ANSI standard join format. They do not apply to the Oracle proprietary join format. The using and on clauses facilitate altering the automated matching of columns between tables when doing joins using the ANSI format. The first one I'm going to explain is the on clause. In order to explain it properly, I'm going to make a change to my schema. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of the supporting act, act ID field to supporting act ID. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the names of the act ID different between the act and the supporting act table. You can do this by running a command such as this. And here is a description of the on clause. It says here that you use the on clause when joining two tables where the join column names are different. So originally if this was called act ID, I would not need to worry about the on clause. Since they are different, when I do a join between the act and the supporting act tables, since they're actually the same fields, I would have to specify using the on clause that these two fields get matched together. Because without this on clause, the ANSI join statement will not be able to match the two fields at all. This is the Oracle equivalent of this ANSI join format statement where we simply have a WHERE clause. Let's run this. I'm back to my notepad. Let's execute this query without the ON clause. So let's first of all describe supporting ACT. I can see that my field is no longer called ACT ID but it's called supporting ACT ID. Let's paste this portion of the query in without the on clause. I get an error. Even if I change this and place the natural join keyword in here, I get a lot of records. I got 424 rows. Let's count from act 53. from 53 times 8, guess what I have? A Cartesian product. That is not what I want. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the on clause in. What happened was the natural join could not match on anything because it looks for column names that are the same. It didn't find them. It found act ID and supporting act ID. They're totally different. So, what the on clause is really used for is for forcing a match on columns that don't necessarily match. The names are not the same. Let's run this query with the correct syntax and we find we have eight rows. Now let's go and copy and paste the Oracle version and we can prove that that's correct. We have eight rows. That is the on clause.